From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Krishna Russell. Able seaman Javon Seymour is now a free man after a Supreme Court jury yesterday found him not guilty of murdering his superior officer at Government House in 2019. Seymour was accused of fatally shooting Petty Officer Percival Propal and attempting to kill Marine Seaman Calvin Hanna and Ellis Ramming while the three men were on duty in a guard room on the property on April 28, 2019. A week after Crown and Defense Counsel presented their closing arguments, a jury of eight women brought back unanimous not guilty verdicts on the count of murder, two counts of attempted murder, and two counts of possession of a firearm with the intent to endanger life brought against Mr. Seymour. The hearing began with the summation of the case by Senior Justice Bernard Turner. The matter was then turned over to the jury shortly after 3 p.m. for deliberation. Less than two hours later, the jurors returned their not guilty verdict. Fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic has caused people to tighten their purse strings, SuperValue President Rupert Roberts has said, while noting more and more shoppers have been relying on the food store stamps to shop. Mr. Roberts said prices were increasing all around, including on building supplies, with items like plywood seeing an exponential increase. This follows his prediction last month that grocery and meat prices will increase by 8 percent and 10 to 12 percent respectively by Christmas. SuperValue has a program that gives shoppers stamps after purchase purchases, which can be redeemed in the future for a discount on your grocery bill. Police are investigating the death of a man who was found slumped forward in the driver's seat of a running car in the early hours yesterday morning. According to a Royal Bahamas Police Force crime report, shortly after 1 a.m., police were alerted to gunshots being discharged on Lyon Road off of Shirley Street. A patrolling unit responded, and officers arrived to the area, where they met a white Nissan Cube at a stop in the middle of the street at the T-junction of St. Margaret and Lyon Roads. The victim had gunshot injuries, and the deceased was identified to the tree as Marvin Roll. The victim leaves behind four children. Anyone with information on this killing or any other homicide is asked to contact police at 502-9991 or 2 or 328 tips or the nearest police station. Weather officials are warning to be on the alert for the possible formation of a tropical storm. The disturbance was last night located over the central Atlantic, far to the east of the Windward Islands, but was expected to become better organized and become Tropical Storm Elsa overnight or today. The path of the storm has the potential to affect the Bahamas, although its central course takes it across Dominica and Cuba. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, President Joe Biden today offered comfort to the grieving and federal support for the ongoing efforts to search for the missing and rebuild after last week's collapse of a high-rise condo building along the Florida coastline. Biden responding to what appeared to be the deadliest calamity of his young presidency also met with first responders hunting for survivors among the rubble in Surfside, but underscoring the danger still present in the search. Work was halted before Biden arrived due to concerns about the stability of the section still standing. The latest alarming coronavirus variant is exploiting low global vaccination rates and a rush to ease pandemic restrictions, adding new urgency to the drive to get more shots in arms and slow its supercharged spread. The vaccines most used in Western countries still appear to offer strong protection against the highly contagious Delta variant, first identified in India and now spreading in more than 90 other countries. But the World Health Organization warned this week that the trifecta of easier to spread strains, insufficiently immunized populations, and a drop in mask use and other public health measures before the virus is better contained will delay the end of the pandemic. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A mid-level trough near the northwest Bahamas, along with streaming tropical moisture across the area, will continue to support bouts of showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the northwest and central Bahamas. Mariners and residents should remain vigilant for possible water spout activity. Expect localized flooding in low-lying and flood-prone areas, especially during prolonged rainfall events. There remains the risk of rip currents along the eastern and southern 
southern shorelines in the central and southeast Bahamas. For all areas, it'll be variably cloudy to occasionally overcast, very warm and humid, with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms through tonight, breezy in the central and southeast islands. A small craft advisory is in effect for the central and southeast Bahamas. Expect gusty winds and higher seas in or near heavy showers and thunderstorms. Winds southeast to south at 10 to 15 knots over open waters in the northwest Bahamas. East to southeast at 15 to 25 knots in the central and southeast Bahamas. Seas 2 to 4 feet over the ocean in the northwest Bahamas, 5 to 8 feet in the central and southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 88 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 73. The sun will set this afternoon at 8.02 and will rise to more morning at 6.24. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper, now on the streets. Or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.